Here we go then with heat number 15. Final race tonight. See if we get away cleanly this time. Certainly looks like it. It's a fast start though from Scott Nichols. He makes the gate over Chris Harris this time. Bomber's going to have to do his trick up the inside. And here it comes up the inside of Scott Nichols. Scott Nichols in front of Chris Harris. Scotty holding Bomber off. Coming round the outside at the moment though. Here's Leon Flint to join the party. I think the bandits will be quite happy with this. Don't need to win it. They don't need to take any crazy risks. This will do them and this will give them the four points on the league table. Chris Harris not taking crazy risks when he's on a maximum. He <laughs> will be taking crazy risks. He will be looking at the inside of Scotty. Oh, they are very close coming into one and two there. And Scotty obviously not taking anything from the meeting, but he will want to lower Bombers' colours here for sure. We've got a race at the back as well because Dylan Rummel has overtaken Leon Flint. Leon Flint's at the back at the moment, but he's coming back up the inside of Dylan Rummel. Out at the back at the moment. Looks like Leon's packed up though. He looks like his race is done. Just keep an eye on Bomber. Final bend here this evening. Chris Harris trying to do the cutback underneath Scott Nichols. Oh. He's not going to quite make it though. Not this time. What a great race down to the line there from Scott Nichols and Chris Harris. But Scotty this time taking the spoils. Brilliant heat 15. Really good. Beginning to end. Four laps. Battle at the front. Battle at the back. That was really good speedway. Really good to see. Two riders out front going toe to toe, wheel to wheel, with 100% confidence in each other's ability. I love to see that. Um, a fair play to Scott, the only one to beat Bomber tonight, but it's not for the want to try in there, Bomber. And, and the track has just come away a little bit. There's not those lines that there was earlier. Um, that's probably where the temperatures dropped a little bit and the moisture's come out of the track. But a great way to end, wonderful race.